So let's now spend a little bit of time on the other group of products where a little bit of customer education is needed. And you mentioned Meta is the best way to go. Correct. Yeah. So yeah. tell us tell us about that. Walk us through how to go about that. So again, start from scratch as if you know you're not uh, we have nothing. For sure. And it, it is it'll be, you know, this meta outline will sound Whereas search, shopping, and performance max within Google sound similar to Amazon PPC. And when I run Amazon PPC accounts, it's a pretty similar process like you and I have even talked about here, where the metrics are pretty similar, the timelines are pretty similar. It's it's a pretty similar setup between the two. The Venn diagram overlap is high. <laughs> within yeah. Meta, it starts to separate, which is why typically you'll see like a, a you know a paid search expert will manage Amazon PPC, maybe some Pinterest, Google. A paid social expert will, will maybe sometimes not touch paid search. You know, it, it's a it's a different animal. But I, I enjoy doing both as a full stack growth marketer. I, I like doing both. Within Meta, the most important lever is your creative and your ad copy. Um, that is the most important lever for performance. So if you have really strong compelling creative for let's say it's a more niche product, like pick any handful of those one use kitchen products. You know, like this is the the perfect tool to peel an avocado. You know, it's like the, this this one kitchen tool that can only be used for one thing, but you got to have it, right? Mm -hmm. um, those types of products do well on Meta because you can kind of show like a how-to video. You can put an image of how quickly this avocado can be prepared, whatever. Um, that is the most important uh, uh, lever for performance within Meta. Uh, within Meta, it's the same kind of structure. You have a campaign, you have ad sets, and then you have ads within your ad sets. Um, the ad sets, you don't do keyword targeting, of course, you do interest targeting. So you're typically picking interest buckets. So things like if I'm selling this kitchen tool, people interested in cooking or people interested in recipes, you can pick different segments or interest audiences. You can also pick a lookalike audiences. So you can upload a list of email addresses and it will find people that look like the people in your email list. Um, and try and find those people. It'll find the patterns between those those email addresses. It'll match it to users on Facebook. Find the patterns between them, and then find other people like those users or that share those same themes and patterns. Then within the ads, uh, you're uploading ad copy and ad creative. Almost always within month one, I will run a few different headlines, a few different primary text options, and a few different image and video creative. Uh, and I will separate that out. I will do one ad set will contain image creative and one ad set will contain video creative. The reason I do that is that type of creative responds very differently at baseline level. So uh, that, that's a very important build that, that I do where sometimes you'll see people combining image and video, but there's a, there's a difference in baseline CPM even for image versus video. So I, I very often will separate them out. I, I typically find better performance doing that that way. So there is no keyword, there is no nothing here, right? This is yeah. just audiences, you know, creating lookalike audiences, interests, and and your creatives. Correct. It's far less. It's far less surgical than PPC and search. It's it's a bit more. Um, I'd say it's a bit more kind of straight, creative, strategic, and macro. And because of that, I see the most. Whenever I come onto accounts where it's run by someone who's more junior, you can tell immediately because within, I'd say more than search with paid social, it is very much an intuition for like you've acquired over the years of running campaigns, you just know how things perform. You know the timeline, you know the audiences to select. Like I have my go-to audiences. I have my go-to ad creative ideas that work. Um, so it limits that testing a little bit. Yeah. 